for the journalists in India, times are becoming really tough. Reporters and editors say that their jobs are becoming increasingly difficult. The country's powerful Hindu nationalist Prime Minister Narendra Modi have bullied editors for taking down critical stories, hushed government bureaucrats and shifted from the common practice of filing defamation cases to lodging more serious criminal complaints, which can mean jail time and take years altogether in India's overburdened court system. Watchdog group Reporters Without Borders says that India has fell down three spots from the World Press Freedom Index to 136 in 2017. India published 16,000 newspapers in more than 100 languages with a readership of 400 million people and it's continuously increasing. On the other hand, the lives of journalists is always at stake. International Federation of Journalists says the increasing number of attacks on journalists and media in India is a serious threat to independent journalism in the country. The IFG urged the Indian authorities to act immediately to ensure safety of journalists and media. They also urged for speedy investigation and prosecution in crimes against journalists to ensure such incidents are not repeated. India has hardly been a heaven for journalists. Shujat Bukhari or Wari Lankesh are the recent examples for the same. The killings of journalists are quite often defended by the spokespersons of various political parties. Several appeals have been made to the Prime Minister to stop backing such antisocial elements. A number of those who issued such threats and passed cross comments against journalists on social media describe themselves as Hindu nationalists and supporters of the BJP or RSS. Abuse is not just normal but has become the national pastime of people as well as government on social media. Lot of journalists every day are tortured, killed and threatened for simply doing their jobs. A simple change in the winds of politics can become the trigger that eventually takes aim. The highest conflict zone like Kashmir has suffered one conflict after the other. Beyond the state citizens, journalists have paid the price too, facing death threats and even suffering attacks on their family members are the result of efforts that are taken to silence them. The condition of journalists is such that now the government is trying to decide the beats for journalists in India. Earlier, the National Investigation Agency arrested and charged a Kashmiri photojournalist Kamran Yusuf with stone building charges, a charge that he and the whole media fraternity in Srinagar was continuously denying. During his bail hearing, the NIA told the court that Yusuf was not a bona fide journalist since he did not cover government development projects and blood donation drives by the army. In March 2018, the trial court granted him bail and questioned the evidence the prosecution had assembled against him. You may kill us, you may threat us, but remember, we'll still cling to the truth.